Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 38 of our Road to Cricket Glory career mode guys in Cricket Captain 2020 We are today we are taking on Pakistan in the third and final T20 International of three in the series guys We've already won the series 2-0 We've got one game to spare but again we're going to make a bunch of changes to really test a bunch of players out As such Daryl Mitchell will sit out for tonight Chapman I'm going to drop Williamson and bring in Daryl Mitchell and actually just give the captaincy responsibility to, let's go Mitchell Satna. Purely because, look, we know Kane Williamson is going to play moving forwards for New Zealand for the next however many years he's going to be around. He's going to retire on his own terms, but why not give Daryl Mitchell an opportunity to bat at number three and really, you know, just give him an extra game because the reality is he only has 13 in his career so far. So this is a good opportunity for him to just come in, no pressure, just score some runs. Now the problem is we have actually seen a bit of rain around the area, so this could be a very, very, very short episode. In advance, I do apologize if that is the case. I've also brought in Lockie Ferguson in place of Kyle Jameson. I'm going to be honest, Jameson has been brilliant in his career for us thus far. 33 wickets at 17. He's been amazing. In real life, well, it hasn't quite turned out that way at all. I'm really disappointed about that, to be honest, for New Zealand. But in this career mode, he's doing very, very well. And so I'm going to give Lockie Ferguson a go, even though he is out of form currently. Glenn Phillips, he's moved from one to two because I need to take the pressure off him a bit. He's really struggling, it has to be said. In the T20 format, he's just struggling. I don't know. I don't know. I can't put my finger on it, but he's just really struggling with the t20s look at that 65 for new zealand and in one day internationals which is helped by his 203 he made one of the early episodes he got 200 it was scenes go and watch it if you haven't seen it but he got 457 at an average of 65 i mean that's incredible but his t20 record he hasn't even got 50 in the past 13 innings so we're gonna back him again today but it could be the last time we see Glenn Phillips in New Zealand colors for a little while 13th of January 2021 against Pakistan here we go we're gonna be taking on Pakistan once again Barty I've never seen this player don't know what he's like okay there's a lot of rain around Mitchell Satner the new captain of New Zealand has lost a toss and will bowl. I mean, that's genius. I mean, I would have bowled anyway. I don't understand why they've decided to bat in the rain. But anyway, I will take that. We are chasing under the rain, which is very good to see. All right, the rain has relented for now. So Lockie Ferguson will bowl to Baba Azam. That is, I was going to say, could be a run out, but it's not going to be, even though it's tight. Ferguson to Imam al -Haq. Wow, that is just a shot and a half down the ground. Six big runs. He's had a terrific, terrific year. Look at that. Numbers all around. Crazy stuff. Even an average of 32 in test matches this year is not great, but he's got his maiden test century, which he has not yet done in real life as well. So he's just doing fantastic, really. Bolt to Baba Azam. He's flicked that away for four. Gee, done really well against Bolt in previous games, Baba. But not tonight. He gets off strike. Ferguson to uh, Imamul Haq. It's in the air. Oh, it's six more. It's a no ball from Ferguson too. Oh, no. Straight to mid-off, but it's not because it's past him for four. Ferguson again. Is that edged? It is. There's a tickle on it. Ferguson strikes with the big wicket of Imamul Haq and Fletcher. Look at this caught behind from him as well. His first series for New Zealand. And he's been brilliant, even though last game he did get some runs, but got out early. A bunch of other players got out early last game, let's be honest. 27 for one. Bolt to Zaman. Oh, gee, that's cut. That's going to be six as well. Gee, Pakistan, fair enough. What a shot. Oh, Bolt's knocked him over, though. He responds with the six and out. He has to go beaten by pace. Look at that. Bolt straight through him. You wouldn't read about it. Bolt to Rizwan. They're two down in the power play straight away. 33 for two, it remains. Lockie has got smashed. So we're going to turn to Jimmy Nisham in the power play. To Rizwan. He's cut away. That will be four, just short of being six. That's pretty pretty unlucky. That's going to be four for Baba. He's played that well. Rizwan, he's cut that away for six over cover. What a shot. Bolt will bowl a third over to Azam. That's pulled away, though. That will be four. Bolt again to Baba. Has he edged it? No, he's just missed it. That ends the power play. Jimmy Nisham 17 off his first over. Not great. Ish Sodi will bowl the first over outside the power play. Pakistan traditionally this, ser this series haven't done very well outside the power play. So it'll be interesting to see how they go against our spinners tonight. But that is a good start for four though. 
And for six, I was gonna say, but I'm very wrong. That's four more. It's apparently raining, even though it's not. Mitchell Satner. This series and this year, really, across the whole career, he's been brilliant, but that is slammed away from Rizwan for six. I mean, these two are batting exceptionally well. We know how well these two can bat, but they're gone. At least it, so is Rizwan. I don't know why I said they are gone. Anyway, he's gone. And, oh no, rain is stop play. What's gonna happen? Two hour, 14 delay. Match has been reduced to eight overs. Revised target of 82. What does that mean? Now what? Continue. Okay, that's the innings. The rain has caused the innings to end. And now New Zealand need 49 of what? Six overs? Is that right? Oh, 16 minutes delay. Okay, the match has indeed been abandoned for the day. There's just too much rain going around. And well, indeed, we unfortunately have a match abandoned in Cricket Captain, which is not great. We did really want to see the end of this match. But unfortunately, the weather just didn't relent. The match is abandoned. We win the three-match series 2-0 against Pakistan. And on the T20 rankings, we move into fifth position, eclipsing England and West Indies. We will look at who the best players in the world are around the format. King Williamson is the ninth best T20 international player going around at the moment. So is Martin Guptill, 11th there. Conway, 20th. He's really made some big strides, that's for sure, across the formats. Usman Shumari, no surprise he's the best in the world at the moment. He is just an exceptional bowler going around, averaging 13 this year. Mitchell Satner, in a very, very comfortable second spot, averaging 13 as well. So, tight competition up the top there. Mark Adair, a few others out there. Lockie Ferguson, Kyle Jamison, Trent Bolt. Our New Zealand bowlers are all over the rankings, that's for sure. Yeah, so because the rain has unfortunately abandoned our match against Pakistan, and it looks like a bunch of other games around the country at the same time did get abandoned, we will indeed be picking our New Zealand squad to play the Chapel Hadley series against Australia in Australia, the 11th series of the year. Yeah, so I normally would select the squads, obviously, outside of the episodes. But today, because it was shorter, let us go and see our squad for Australia. First of all, a couple of things. So we want to keep Glenn Phillips, but his form is absolutely shocking at the moment. It is actually down to, well, I'm going to assume, yeah, 5% match form, which is not great. Definitely bringing Ross Taylor. Kane Williamson. Tom Latham is coming. His form hasn't been great either. 24 one day internationals this year. Ish Sodi hasn't done great with the ball either. Lockie Ferguson obviously on the plane. Let's look around New Zealand. So in case you don't know how to do this, this is the squad I've started with. I will name a couple of spots that are still up for grabs. Obviously Phillips is out of form at the moment. So is Guptal. Rutherford is as well. So we're going to look at the out of form players and see if we can try and drop them back to domestic cricket to get them back in form over the period of time that they are down at domestic cricket. But first of all, let me actually look around the grounds and see what we've got going on around the country. So this is the general New Zealand. So you've got selected squad and New Zealand. When I select New Zealand, this is across all of the New Zealand players available for selection for New Zealand across the whole domestic comp. Obviously, overseas players don't count because they are not from New Zealand, so they can't be picked for New Zealand. But everyone else who is obviously a part of New Zealand can be selected for New Zealand. This is obviously we see careers, we don't want to look at that. We want to look at the current one day comp. The leading round scores of the one day comp, we can see Cam Fletcher is again doing really well. I think I'm going to pick him. He's doing really, really well across his career so far. And he just got 51 not out in the Super Smash final as well. Devin Conway, definitely picking Devin Conway. Will Young was someone I was going to look at, but unfortunately he has actually lost a bit of his touch especially after not doing so well against Pakistan in that T20 International series. Will O'Donnell is someone that he's got some very good stats behind him, but we just really want him to go ahead and try and make the stats a bit better. Tim Southey's another one. So I think, again, I'm going to let him continue to work his way in domestic cricket. Neil Wagner is in top class form. Look at that, 100% match form. So I'm going to sort by wickets in the one-day comp, and we can see Travis Muller is the one-day comp leader of the wickets at the moment. 13 wickets at an average of 17. I've decided to pick George Worker moving forwards because I think he's got 372 runs at an average of 93 in the one day comp. He's got some very solid form behind him and he's looking really good this year apart from the first class stuff where he's only played two games. So overall, I think he could be a really good opener, especially because he's in form as well at the moment. Uh, I definitely still want to pick one of my out of form openers. I just can't really afford to pick both is the real thing. Am I missing any bowlers around New Zealand? I don't think so. Daryl Mitchell could be in the mix for the one-day stuff as well. I should definitely look at that. I've dropped Corey Anderson. Daryl Mitchell is in the lineup. 
or at least not in the lineup necessarily, but he's in the squad. He's in the 15 player squad going to Australia. Devin Conway is another obviously massive selection. Mark Chapman. Now, I don't know how he's done in the recent comp. Let me have a look around. Henry Nichols is the other one that we normally pick for New Zealand. One day internationals, he's got 32 not out for the only one day international this year. I'm going to drop Chapman because he averages 19.6 at 98 runs. Again, the selection policy has swapped for this next series. Again, I want to emphasize that it swapped from experimentational to I want to win top class series to be a part of. So you really want to at least I want to make sure I have the best possible team playing in Australia. I am going to drop Matt Henry. It's quite harsh, but he hasn't done well in the one-day stuff this season because I think Tom Latham will bat in the middle. So there'll still be three openers. Kane, Taylor, Conway in the middle. Fletcher's an option there as well. We've got the all-rounders and then the bowlers. So I feel like Matt Henry, if we did drop him here, we don't really lose too much because we've also got Ish Sodi and the pace bowling all around us to cover our pace as well. All right, so I've made some decisions here. I think this is going to be the starting level moving forwards to the next episode. Because you guys are watching, I'm going to give you a sneak peek. And this is my starting level at the moment. Worker, Guptal or Phillips, Kane, Ross Taylor, Latham or Conway, Daryl Mitchell, Jimmy Neesham, Mitchell Satner, Jameson Bolt, Sodi or Ferguson. And that will be the 11 rounded out. That will mean that Cam Fletcher will be basically left out of the 11. I think, again, he's a backup option. Whilst he's doing really well, I think he's a great option for the Black Caps to take moving forwards into this year. I'm going to take a couple of out-of-form players to Australia, which I don't really like. But then again, you can't really ever have your 11 all in form. So I'm going to back Guptal, Phillips, and Latham to come good in Australia. And there's a couple of others that are on the cusp as well, but I'm sure... We will try and have our best shot at beating Australia in Australia, guys. It should be an absolute cracker series. But that is going to be it for today's episode, guys. If you did enjoy them, please leave a like. Subscribe for more content. Hit the post notification bell. Join my Discord server. I will see you all in the next episode, guys. Good, good. Bye for now, everyone.